You snored the whole way. I did not. It's a God's honest truth. How would you know? You're fast asleep. I was pretending to sleep. So you and me are gonna have a pretend cup of coffee? Anyone here? How much further to Curtis Wells? Not far. You won't have to put up with me for that much longer. Last couple days on the road have been a real trial. You know, when you get settled, I'd be happy to show you around. I appreciate that. Where is everybody? I need some help with the horses. No point in both of us getting muddied up. Mighty fine job, boys. Harden! Both you boys got them guns. You want my valuables and a piece of the woman? Fine by me. your day for dying. Track of these things, we will. I knew it. I thought something was wrong. What happened? Driver's dead. So smitty from the roadhouse. The bandits who done this are stored in the back. Lucky you weren't killed. I might have been if it hadn't been for Earl here. Gotta get him to see a doc. I'm all right. We gotta get someone to look at that. Come on. Nasty business.
He's got a bad feeling about this. Mr. Hastings, I was appalled to hear of your misadventure, Clay Mosby. Pleased to meet you. Just telling the sheriff here what happened. Well, by all accounts, you handled yourself heroically. Austin here will take care of everything. Put your mind to rest. As soon as I get the time. There's no reward on those two. Well, the least we could do is offer you a little hospitality to make up for this unfortunate introduction to our otherwise peaceable community. So. I could ask what brings you to Curtis Wells, but I already know. That's so. St. Louis is a long way off, but I do have my contacts within the Anaconda Mining Company. We got a lot to talk about. Copper is vital to the growth of this territory. And Curtis Wells is a good place to be mining it. It's a safe and stable town. With the manpower and the support the oil industry needs. There are a lot of people at head office who hold the same opinion. Hmm. Huh. Well, good. You, however, do not. I'm just a surveyor, Mr. Mosby. I assess the claims, make a report. Others make the decisions. Well, let's just say it's important to the folks of this town that uh, it reports a favorable one. This is a strong community. A little rough around the edges, but uh, strong. Ladies? I have a vision for this place. A new Atlanta. Fountains where once there were water pumps. A real opera house, culture, you understand? A cosmopolitan city. A hub of the territory. You seem so sure of it. I am. Um, I will achieve that and much more. No matter what the cost. Words of a driven man. I prefer inspired. And, uh, generous. Is that a bribe? No. An offer of friendship. You won't get any more out of me. If you don't pay your taxes, and I can't do my job as a good sheriff. Mr. Mosby, you may think you run this town, but this is still my store. Now get on out of here and take your bully boy with you. <laughs> you know, this is pretty good. I mean, it's not Flaubert, but it's, uh, it's not bad. It's a dime. You're a bold man, Mr. Creel. That's a fine quality. Thank you, Mr. Mosby. At the proper time. This isn't really about taxes, is it? It's about pulling together. All of us heading in the same direction for the benefit of Curtis Wells. It's about being a good citizen, really. And <clears throat> at the moment, you're not being a particularly good citizen. I run a business. Yeah, it's a very profitable one. From what I hear, maybe too profitable. I charge what the market will bear. If they don't like it, they can go somewhere else. <laughs> Sheriff Peel, I, I can't get through to him. It's frustrating. Very frustrating. It can't be helped. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe some people can't be helped. Oh, um... I'm told you have of late taken to keep a weapon behind the counter. I've had some trouble. I'd like to see it. Show it to me. Please. I have a family. Fancy yourself a good shot, Mr. Creel? Do you? Uh, well, do you? Please. <clears throat> Fine weapon, actually. 
needs cleaning, calibrating. There's a penalty for keeping a loaded weapon in a store. Bang! <laughs> yeah, take it. Sheriff Peel here will impose the penalty. Well, what do you know? Exactly the right amount. Excellent. However, <clears throat> town carvers are still short their taxes. Now, if you fall into arrears, you may wish to consider selling and moving out of here. If you do, I'll give you a fair price. Chef, uh, give the man his dime. The way you handled those boys out at the roadhouse, it was like watching a rattler strike out. I frighten you. So, it was like it came natural to you. Just as well it did, or you'd be cold and gray and pushing up grass now. I owe you my life. And that is a debt I take very seriously. That's why I'm here. But you don't trust me. Out on the road, I did. The man that kills so easily, I don't know. Maybe I can change your mind. Maybe. But the thing with Rattlers is, you've got to watch them every second. Sounds exciting. If you don't get bit. That's not necessary. It's on the house. As a matter of fact, it can always be on the house. I got the money. Mr. Call, I've been meaning to speak privately with you. Don't see no one else here. I need your help. He's got to be stopped. Oh, he ain't gonna get bit saying his name. Somebody's gotta show him. He can't do what he damn well pleases with folks around here. Mosby? You're damn right, Mosby. Now, you ain't got no great love for him either as I hear it. You're the one man in town he won't cross. I've seen that with my own eyes. What do you have in mind, Creel? I want him warned off. I want to be left alone. How permanent you want that warning to be? That'll be up to you. I could kill him. That sounds good, don't it? Solve all your problems. He just has to be stopped. Fear has got to be fought with fear. That's all I know. Don't seem to me you know much, Creel. I'll do it without you if I have to. Man gets to a point where he won't be pushed no more. You ain't ready to face down Mosby. Let's stick to what you know. How many of you men do I have in my employ? Fifteen? Hmm? Twenty? Now, how is it with that kind of firepower that I can still be subject to this kind of assault? You expect us to guard you around the clock, Mosby? <laughs> Only if that's what it takes to keep me breathing. This is just some sort of sick joke. Well, I'm not laughing. 
Oh, this is more than just a prankster. It's the work of a lunatic. A lunatic smart enough to slip in and out of here and not wake you up. Exactly. I mean, that could have been my heart that was cut out. Belonged to a pig. What? It was a pig's heart. Splendid. A man can't make as many enemies as you and not expect there to be trouble. It's only a matter of time. No. Not as simple as that. Whoever did this wanted to put a fright into me. I mean, he wanted me dead. It would have been just as easy, hell, easier to put a bullet in my back and be done with it. No, no, he wanted to get his message across. But why play games? Doesn't make any sense. Does to the coward behind this. And when I find him, and when you find him, he is going to tell me why if it's the last thing he ever does. Now get out of here and find that son of a bitch. Let's go on ahead and meet up with you at the dump. Hold on a minute. What the hell was that all about? What do you mean? You know damn well what I mean. What are you trying to do? Get under Mosby's skin? Just gave him fair warning, that's all. Listen, if you know something about this, I suggest you tell me, and right now. Is that the sheriff talking, huh? No, your son. I don't need you to look out for me. Listen, you're playing with fire here. Now, if you want to act the fool, you go right ahead, but don't expect me to back you up. There's a shadow following him. A dark shadow. Maybe you don't see it, but I do. Pick him up. Oh, please, I didn't do anything. What do you want? What's this all about? Oh, God, somebody help me! You shouldn't have done it, Creel! I swear! And so it's all Mr. Creel, is it? Sure as can be. Let him up. What made you think you could get away with it, Creel? With what? Nobody comes into my home and trifles with me. Do you understand that? You go to hell. <sighs> Take him inside, Moses. No. No, I want the folks to see the consequences of crossing me in my town. <laughs> Think you could scare me off with some gruesome parlor trick. Leave him be. You stay out of this call. Could have been anyone. Me. Austin there. Got no proof it was Creel. He's right. Mr. Creel was with me last night. How's that, mister? We got to playing poker at the hotel. Had a few drinks. Before you know it, most of the night had gone by. Mr. Hastings, if you're just saying this to intervene on Mr. Creel's behalf, I'd suggest this is none of your affair. My superiors back at the head office won't take kindly to the representative being called a liar. I get your point. Get him doctored up. When he's feeling better, we'll continue this conversation. Man's lucky to be alive. You too. Not many go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mosby and his bunch and live to tell about it. Guess I lost my head. 
Can't abide seeing a man beaten like a dog. <laughs> Were you really with Creel last night? Now, why would I lie about something like that? Save his hide. Of course, Creel's gonna say whatever is gonna keep him alive. By saying he was with you, you both end up in the clear. It's funny how that works out. Not tonight, Sheriff. You're on watch. I need you sharp-eyed and sober. This is a waste of time, Mosby. Creel's the only man dumb enough and gutless enough in this town to make a move on you. What if it wasn't Creel? There's a word for the man who underestimates his enemies, Austin. Deceased. I don't know what this whole thing is about, and until I do... We must all remain vigilant. We're closed, Josiah. I've spent some time contemplating your situation, Mosby. Put a cork in it, why don't you? All right. Tell me, what's the uh, good word from the other side? Armageddon. It's all over. What a relief. Break out the champagne. I'm serious, Clay. I had a vision. But don't you think I have enough troubles? I'll deal with this. Let's go. Take it. You need all the help you can get. I said, let's go. It's all here in the good book. Austin? Austin! Austin? down now. Show yourself, damn it! You go back a long way, Mosby. Don't remember me, do you? If I did, you'd already be dead. November 1864. Still don't recall what went on. I sure as hell do. How does it feel to be afraid for your life? I'm the man you've been waiting for, Mr. Mosby. I'm the man that's gonna kill you. 
But not just yet, not till I'm ready. Until then, you'll see me in every shadow. Hear me in every sound in the dark. You're out of your mind. comes after you, your homes, your families. That's right. We've got to protect the women. Women? Right. Hell, we got to protect our town. Right. How do you know he's not still hiding out? My men have turned this town inside out. If he is here, we'd have found him. What do you say? Yeah. All right, then. Now, listen up. I need a party of brave men to go after him. Fearless men who are ready to defend this town against marauding killers like Hastings. Now, who is willing to prove that they're not going to stand for this kind of thing in Curtis Wells? Gentlemen, let's go get them. You've got to sign yourself, Mosby, and it's your funeral. Get away from me. Gather the volunteers on each of the livery. Shotgun, or maybe a buffalo gun. Or maybe a little something for your hunting trip. Shells for my 45. Two boxes. A hundred rounds of ammunition. That ought to bring a man to his knees. Your new bow nearly blew me to kingdom come. I tend to take that sort of thing personally. That's between you and him. And you, apparently. Just wanted to tell you about his business with me. Well, I wish he had said something, because maybe I could make some sense of this. Protecting him is only going to drag out the inevitable. Now, what did he say? What the hell does he want? Are you accusing me of being a part of this? Damn you, Clay Mosby. I ain't some lovesick puppy. Maybe not, but you know him better than anyone else in this town. Did you get one of these, hmm? It's a fine pistol. Put a great big hole in my head, because that's what he wants to do, you Mr. Hastings. All I know is, is that there is something eating away at him, but he ain't evil. Maybe you're just too kind-hearted to see precisely what it is you're dealing with. He's a stone-cold killer. I've seen what he can do. And if he wanted you dead, you'd be out back on a slab by now. Stay clear of this, Maddie. You think you know him, but you don't. The man is from hell itself. I hope he kissed you goodbye, Maddie. Because you won't be seeing him again. You find a trail? Nothing to the south, nor to the east. You find anything? up in arms. You've got Mosby out on the countryside looking for you. Good. 
It's exactly what I wanted him to do. Just who are you? And don't give me that bunk about being a surveyor for the copper mines. I work for Anaconda. That's how I found out about Mosby. You came to kill him? Why? Because I have to. You don't expect me to help you. No. I know you think I'm some sort of crazed killer, but I'm not. So I got my reasons. You're just gonna have to understand. Unless it's life or death, there is no reason to kill a man, not ever. It ain't murder, Maddie, it's justice. It is murder. Well, if you can't see that, then there's nothing left of you worth saving. And Get out! You turn around, and you walk out that door, and you don't look back. So long, Maddie. Mr. Mosby. Nothing here. He's gone. bullet holes through him. You gotta do something. Like what? Take a bullet for him? You know you can track him better than Mosby's bunch. Then what? We get him to a territorial marshal so he can have a fair trial. You don't give up easy. I got my reasons. Good ones, I'll bet. Then you'll do it? Never said that. Pay for your trouble. Is that what it's gonna take to save a man's life? He's really gotten to you, huh? All I know is, is that if I don't do something, no one else is gonna. Hasten shot up that posse pretty good. Of course, there's a chance that he could put a bullet through Mosby. I'd hate to miss that. Oh. 
blood. He walked in the shallows to cover his track. Headed into the bush right there. Sheriff Peel, Bevins and them found his trail. Good, then let's go get him. Thought you'd given up on me. Damn it, Earl, look at you! Mosby and the rest can't be far off. Let him come. Let me talk to him. Is that how you want it to end? Laying here, dead, for no good reason? I don't care. So long as Mosby goes to hell with me. Oh, you think he's gonna let that happen? He's got a half a dozen men. All he has to do is wait you out. It's between him and me. Man to man. And what's that gonna prove? Is a little more blood left to spill? I've been waiting for this moment ever since he took my father's life. I didn't know. You expect me to walk away? Turn tail and run? You getting killed ain't gonna bring your father back. And vengeance ain't gonna bring you satisfaction six feet under. Earl, you saved my life. Let me return the favor before this goes too far. Already gone too far, hasn't it? You get the hell out while you still can. Paul and I can get you out of here. Take you someplace safe. I got no place left to run. Neither does he. Stand aside, Cole. Maddie's in there with him. Hastings! Come and get me, Mosby! Just you! Earl, let me talk to him! What are you doing? What I have to. Open the door. Open it. Come and get her, Mosby. I'll swap you for her. No. I have to deal with this. I'm not gonna hurt you. Let her go! Austin, he kills me, you shoot the bastard down. I said let the lady go. This doesn't have to end up with one of you dead. Using a woman to fight your battles for you, Hastings. It's bad form. I never asked her to step in the middle of this. Maybe you're right. Maybe the two of you deserve each other.
Well, inside. Close the door. Close it. Okay, Hastings, you've had your fun. Let's finish this. You remember me now? Maybe you remember my father. The man you murdered on a little farm in Delaware and forced his family to watch. You remember that? Oh, my God. You were the boy. Boy? Hell, not much younger than you. But there you were, deciding who lived or died like God Almighty himself. Your father was a sniper for the Union Army. My father was a soldier doing his duty. So was I. He killed a dozen of my men, good men, with wives and children of their own. War makes a man do things he regrets, Hastings. But the war is over. Not for me, it isn't. Not so long as you're drawing breath. <laughs> why the hell didn't you just kill me? I mean, why all the games? I had to make you feel the terror I felt that day. I want you to see the bullet coming. I want you to know why you're gonna die. Well, now I know. Now you know. So what happens now? I stand here and you just shoot me down. Is that it? I'm going to give you the chance you never gave my father. Calling you up, Mosby. No. Don't be a fool. You're in no condition to fight me. Let's just end this here now. Get on your horse and ride. I won't follow you. And owe my life to the man who killed my father. Outside, Mosby. Hold your fire. We're coming out. Stay out of this. You understand? 